the model builder. The model builder is when you want to combine different toolboxes together. And instead of you run one after another, you can create a model here that uh, you can add up to 100 toolboxes. It doesn't matter how much, how many toolboxes you want to add in here. So the outputs goes to another toolbox. Let's see an example here. We're going to delete this one because we don't need it right now. What we will do using the model builder is we're going to use the same tool. We're going to drag and drop it here. And we're going to double click on this one. See how it's it doesn't it's uh, it's white. When we add our input, we're going to select the same file. So this first tool, what's going to do is going to take the same Excel sheet we showed, is going to create the output in the same location we selected. And the same thing with it before. When I click OK, see how the colors are changed. Now this tool is ready to run because it has the right type of input. It's going to run through this tool, and here's the output going to be. What I'm going to do next is I want to add the next toolbox to take this output as input. So I'm going to go for example, I'm going to use a table to geodatabase. So this tool here. It's going to take a table, the one we have as, a, as an output from here, and it's going to add it to an existing geodatabase. We have, we're going to add it to this geodatabase here. So we need to, what we need to do first is to use a connect to connect these two toolboxes. Going to click on this one, going to click here and drag an arrow to the next one and select input table. Once I select the input table, it's still white, so it's not ready to run. And we will know now by double uh, how by double click on it. And it's going to tell us, OK, I have my output ready, but I don't know which output I'm going to put, um, which geodatabase is going to be my output. So I need to select which geodatabase. I'm going to open here. I have a geodatabase here that I will add my file to it. And I will add, add it to my tool. I'll say OK. Once I say OK, it will change the color to be like this. Now I can make it look a little bit nice. So what will happen here, we have two toolboxes. We're going to take an Excel sheet, convert it to feature table. This feature table is going to go into another toolbox that uses this geodatabase to add this feature table to it. Now, in order to run this tool, we can click here. Now it's running. First one pass. Now it's on this part. All completed. You can check the messages here. I'm going to take complete script, succeeded, and you can close this one. And if we go to our geodatabase, you're going to see that we have a new feature table that is viewed right here, and we can view it from here. This is how you can use Model Builder. You can save this. You can share it with someone. Uh, you can run it again. You can customize it however you want. You can use any toolbox here to take uh, an output as an input and it looks it's really not very very nice tool to save you a lot of time if you have a certain uh, process that goes into a data for example you get a gps data and you need to convert it to feature class and this feature class you needed to convert it to a kml file and add it to your database there's so many things that you can do with this model builder and you can save this model and you can share it uh, with anyone if you want at the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to arcgismastery.com and you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses, starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what is redo. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.